guys, welcome to another live video. So, in this one, I'm actually in the video. You guys wanted me to be in more of my live videos and disgusting. And I don't like being on camera, but you know what? I'm not the ugliest person on YouTube, so I just said, fuck it, let's do it. So, I am going to be discussing pendulums and my overall opinion of them and just what I think of them so far. So, so far, pendulums, I don't think they're that good yet. And I, I'm going to leave it at yet. This is just the beginning of pendulums. What we've seen so far, uh, the game mechanic is interesting, but you know, you just have to have it in the right deck, and that's definitely the problem. Is that pendulums are not as flexible as synchros and exceeds. That's definitely a big problem. You know, if you want to synchro something, you throw some tuners up in there, bam, you got some synchro. Almost anybody and their mother can exceed, but pendulums require a certain deck. Just putting the pendulum monsters in the zone is a neg one, and you know, you're using up all these resources to pull it off. Like, if you're trying to pendulum summon it in an archetype deck, don't even try it because there's not enough room to do it. You essentially got to run nine cards. Nine, nine cards that you're taking out. Either it be nine back row, nine staples, nine whatever. You're taking out nine cards out of your deck to pull off these pendulums. And, you know, sometimes you're not even guaranteed to get it. And that's the problem is that you're going really in with this, oh, I'm going to get off this pendulum and if I get it off, it's going to be great and I'm going to win. But if you don't, you're pretty much going to lose. And that's the problem with pendulums, you know. Uh... You need to run it in a deck that's really flexible, has a lot of open space, really doesn't care about its place, and just by throwing the pendulum in there, it really won't phase the deck. One of the decks that people are kind of hyping up about pendulums is Pendulum Scraps. That deck is trash. Do not play that. You know, I'm mad that Asian Eyes has pretty much hyped up that deck and made it so everybody in the motor is like, oh, Pendulum Scraps, so good, so good, look what Asian Eyes did. It's not good. That is an archetype deck. It has monsters that can't be summoned. The deck's not as flexible. It's really rigid with what plays it can go off with. It has back row. It has spells. It does not have room to be pulling off plays like that. Guys, I'm going to tell you guys the perfect deck to be running pendulums. You guys can go ahead and build the deck and make it and try out yourself. The perfect deck to run pendulum is Chaos Dragons. That deck is the perfect deck for pendulums. High monster count, very flexible, has synergy with Odd Eyes. You can drop the monsters when you pendulum summon, or you can just keep them in your hand, doesn't matter. You can summon the E-Dragons, uh, you can search with the Clipswagon, mean, that is the deck that would definitely enjoy pendulum summons the most. But you can see that that deck is not really an archetype, it's just flexible within itself. So as you can see, pendulums aren't really hot shit. And another thing I want to talk about is that, you know, right now we have the three pendulums. We have the Chronomancy, the Astromancy, and then Odd Eyes. And, but we have other pendulum monsters too. We have like the little scorpion guy, the frog guy, that normal monster guy. But the problem is, they're not as good as the three cards that, you know, everybody pendulum summons with. They only really have synergy with themselves, and that's the problem. Is that the magicians only change their scale to their one or their eight when they have the other magician or Odd Eyes. If not, they're gonna become four and then you're stuck with either four or higher or four or lower. So definitely that's a rigid play. You have to stick with the main guys and the, pretty much the pendulum monsters that they're giving us aren't as good as them. So pretty much we just need to wait for a while, a couple packs. Like I said, this series is going to be going on, what, 2017, 2018? We got a cool minute before the end of Arc 5. So eventually we're going to see the breaking of pendulums. You know, every uh, thing needed is push. You know, Synchro's had... They're, uh, they're plagued with the malicious, you know, Xyz got better, you know. We started off with synchroing with, what, Stardust? Stardust, Red Dragon, Archfiend, like a little bit later, Black Rose was after Stardust. Yeah, yeah. And there was like, Gaia. yeah, and Gaia. And now <clears throat> like, we're at Scrap and Beals and Crimson Blader. Yeah, we're at know? some busted it's and... Some busted shit. Yeah. You know, <laughs> with, with Xyz, we started off with Utopia. And and my Stroke. Hachi. Maestro, and now we're at 101 in Exiton. So, as you can see, uh, the, you know, the longer we have for these cards, the more powerful they're going to get. And you know what? I want to see something interesting. I want to see the first XC monster, I mean, not first XC, first Pendulum Monster Band. That's what I'm looking forward to, the first Pendulum Monster Band. I can see, in it's my opinion. The first Synchro Band was Dark Shrek Fighter? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the first XC Band was... Zen Shockmaster. No. Oh, no, it's Zen Mighty. And then Shockmaster and then followed Shockmaster. after Worlds. You know, so, you know, I just want to see the first Pendulum Monster Band. I... And I don't know about Bam, but I but a lot of people have been saying Odd Eyes might see the restrict just because it's the searcher. I mean that I mean the, the, it's like a Sangan searcher for the pendulums. See that push. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> yeah. He's really really good. I mean he's the boss monster. You know I think that people saying that he should get limited or something. They're just in that salty phase. 
you know, Stardust got the same damn treatment. I remember. Stardust is still getting that treatment. You no, know, Stardust is still getting that treatment. Oh, we need a bad Stardust. I hate a salt mode. I'm not a big fan of a salt mode either, but we don't need to hit Stardust. <laughs> but definitely, Odd Eyes, he's fine. Uh, they need it. You know, maybe maybe when they maybe get a spell card that can search for any pendulum, maybe we can, you know, start pointing fingers. But for right now, he's necessary. But like I said, not everybody can pendulum. Don't try to put it in your deck, especially if you're running an archetype. If you're running a really flexible, free-running deck, then you can go ahead and try it. But it's not for everybody. It's it's kind of restrictive. So I'm just going to end it at that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this live video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys next time with another live video. Thanks for watching.